and uh, wanted to discuss with you guys a little bit about this uh, this new latest uh, Messiah character being uh, promoted in Israel, uh, Yizayahu ben David. And uh, seems like the Spanish community is really promoting him. And from what some of the latest articles that are coming out, he has been crowned as the Mashiach ben David, or the Messiah of David. Remember, Israel has two Messiahs they're looking for. Mashiach ben Yosef and Mashiach ben David. Mashiach ben Yosef, of course, is the Messiah that goes to war and ends all of Israel's enemy. And, and the David Mashiach is to be the one that brings peace. And, and this whole ideology comes from uh, the book of Daniel. Believe it or not, it actually comes from the book of Daniel. And, uh, and it's because they see that the Messiah is to be cut off. And... So, although they didn't recognize that Jesus Christ was truly the true Mashiach ben David, Mashiach ben Yosef, no matter how you want to come up with these doctrines, he was the true Messiah and still remains the Messiah. He is the one that is king, and God crowned him king of kings, uh, lord of lords, etc. But anyway, uh, I wanted to speak a little bit in regards to this because he's not going to be the Mashiach that Israel is going to fully embrace. Uh, we've had so many Messiah figures in Israel. If you remember, Donald Trump was being even promoted as a possible, not just a Cyrus, but there were rabbis that were saying that he may be Mashiach ben Yosef. Uh, because why? They thought he was going to go and fight Iran for them. So therefore they had given the possibility that he could be one. Uh, we have uh, Menachem Schneerson, the, uh, the, the former head, the, the, as they called him, the Rebbe of the Chabad Lubavitch organization. He was also called the Mashiach or the Messiah. And, uh, and we've had other, <clears throat> recently, other organizations, Orthodox organizations that have said, oh, no, this candidate is the Messiah. Um, we've actually, if you go back into Israel's history, since the, the, the dispersion uh, in 70 AD until now, there's been, oh gosh, must have been at least a dozen different candidates for Messiah. Uh, so don't get distracted with this. I know they've had different rabbis claiming they're in conversation with the Messiah, things like that. And if you remember not too long ago, I shared with you a documentary footage of a uh, guy that claimed to be the Mashiach in Israel, more of a secular Jew, and uh, but uh, he also had this claim. And I do know that there is, because somebody, uh, I think it was Brother, uh, maybe it was Brother Perez that had sent us a text about this particular rabbi here. Got a lot of emails from friends as well. Uh, but I know that the friends that I have in Washington were saying that there was a man that was a former military commander that was believed to be Israel's Messiah. Uh, and of course, that documentary was just one example. And he also was a former military commander. But I believe that the uh, Hezekiah ben David, an easier way to say the way that you say his name there, uh, he's also a former army, which everybody, if you're from Israel, you served in the military. Uh, unless you're, of course, religious. A lot of times not all religious figures are former military. But, <clears throat> no, I don't believe that he's going to be the one that is really going to be the real Messiah that Israel will use. <clears throat> I am actually looking very seriously, uh, from even from the Israeli intel community, they've talked about how that their Messiah is coming on a spaceship. Uh, and that seems to fit the bill more because the Antichrist, which is what he'll be, uh, the true Messiah for Israel, or what they would call the true Messiah for Israel, is going to be an Antichrist. Uh, he will be an imposter, an impersonator, and he will do great exploits. He will do miracles. Uh, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> excuse me, everything they accuse Jesus of by doing miracles of Beelzebub, the chief of the devils, well, their Messiah that they're bringing is going to do exactly that. And so I do believe that it'll be some type, whether it be a hybrid being, uh, uh, you know, half fallen angel, half human, 
which is kind of what I'm more inclined to believe. Uh, but nonetheless, it'll be something of what we would consider to be some sort of a supernatural type of uh, character in order to be able to pull off these false miracles. So that's why I say, uh, don't, don't believe it. Just, you know, uh, they may be, and, and another thing that you gotta keep in mind too, they may be using this guy right now just to try to get some hype up going for, uh, for the religious community in Israel and to help uh, for the new world order. So they might need, they may have chosen to do this even under a temporal purpose there uh, just to galvanize their, that support that, that Israel has need of there for their plans that they're doing uh, throughout the Middle East. One thing's for sure, it's going to happen and it's going to happen soon. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Blessings to you all.